As you are waking up, maybe taking a few supplements this morning to get your day going. Calcium, we know it's important for strong bones, but popping it in the form of a pill may not be the answer. That's right. This morning, Dr. Frank McGeorge sharing the potential downsides of those calcium supplements and how to get the reward without the risk. According to the National Institutes of Health, about 43% of Americans take a supplement that includes calcium. Now, calcium is an important mineral for maintaining strong bones, but you can get too much of a good thing, and there are some potential risks that you should know. Taking a calcium supplement may seem like an easy way to improve your bone health, but research is showing it's not that simple. We think that the body processes calcium very different when it comes from food sources versus supplements. Dr. Aaron Miko says a large study by Johns Hopkins University found calcium supplements can negatively affect heart health. Just using calcium supplements was independently associated with this increased risk of developing atherosclerosis. Calcium supplements can sometimes cause side effects like bloating, constipation, and kidney stones. A study published in the journal Neurology also found women who took calcium supplements were at a higher risk for developing dementia. And Dr. Miko says the largest and research to date shows inconclusive arteries, results about the benefits of taking calcium supplements to build strong bones. For, for individuals that are already meeting the recommended daily allowance, there's no evidence that more is better, uh, even for bone health or fracture reduction. But foods rich in calcium do not pose the same risks. I recommend for my patients that the, the safest thing to do is try to get their calcium through their diet. Milk, yogurt, and almonds are all high in calcium. The recommended dietary allowance of calcium for most adults is 1,000 milligrams a day. For women ages 51 and older and men ages 71 and older, it's 1,200 milligrams. A goal experts say is best met with a healthy diet. Now this is one example of why it's important to share what supplements you're taking and how much with your doctor to make sure that you're not doing more harm than good. If you have an actual calcium deficiency, calcium supplements may be beneficial.